such an idiot. Okay, so I'm recording and it's almost 14 minutes and that's fine. I was almost done and then I hit the wrong button and it, dang it. Anyway, the first thing I talked about was Zanny, my cat, if you don't know. Um, she, I, I was worried about her because she's losing weight, so I thought maybe she had hypothyroidism, okay, or hyperthyroidism, which a lot of older cats get. She's 13, so she's getting older. She's considered a senior. So I was worried about that, so I took her in and took her blood, or he took her blood. He said, that'll take about 20 minutes. You guys can go get lunch or come back or stay here. It doesn't matter. So we stayed there. Uh, and I asked him to check the bumps that I had found because I found one on her neck and he said it was like a mole. So he thought the other ones were like moles. I said, this one, you said if they were pea size to, to tell you. And I said, these two are. So he said, we'll find out. So he put a needle in it and got some of the fluid and put it on a, one of those things you put under a microscope. And uh, he came back in. And this look on his face was horrible because he always comes in so chipper and blah, always. He's that way. And the look on his face, I knew that there was something wrong. And he said, I've got to take him off. And I said, okay, why? He said, because I saw cells in there I don't like. And I said, uh, he didn't say cancer, but I know that's what it was. He just didn't want to say that word because I was already in a state of, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. So he told me that he needed to get her, her in here as soon as he could and that um, I had to make an appointment for her surgery, which is tomorrow. And he told me to cut the hair around the bumps because they're really hard to find because she has hair. She's long-haired and she has layer and layer and layer and layer and layer of hair. Okay, so they're really hard to find. And the only reason why I found them is because I pet her like to her skin sometimes. I do this in her hair and she loves that. So... I found, I'm like, what is this? That's how I found the one in, on her neck. Um, I've got the hair cut around three of them. Uh, one of them I need to kind of cut a little more. But she bit me yesterday so hard. Oh my gosh, it was awful. But the thing is, is she doesn't want me to cut her hair. I mean, she has to sit still and I'm pulling her hair a little bit so I can not cut her skin and you know, so she's, see, I can't even breathe just thinking about it. I don't know what I'll do if I lose her. I, I, she is the only thing that made me survive when I lost my parents. She is the only thing that helped me survive living in a house with ice in the bathtub because I had no heat for three months. She is the only thing that has helped me go on. And I don't know what I would do. I mean, right now she's sleeping on her cushion over there, which is quiet, but I know she's here. And when she has to stay at the vet, she's not here, so it's it's even more quiet, if that makes sense, and lonely. It's just lonely without her here, and I can't, I, I'm not going to cry. I just can't imagine my life without her. I can't. And so, anyway, 
The surgery's tomorrow. I have to drop her off anywhere from 7.30 to 8.30. And they're going to, I, I'm not sure, but usually they do their surgeries in the morning. So I'm sure she's going to get surgery soon after she's in there. Um, I haven't found the other bump that I found. I'm, I'm trying to decide if I want to also have him take the one off of her neck. Because I don't want to have to pay for this surgery again. I, I don't even... I don't even know how I'm going to pay it. I, I mean... But I told him, I said, I'll get it paid because, you know, I, I mean, I will beg, borrow, and steal. I will sell everything I have. Whatever I have to do to pay it, I will. And uh, luckily, he helps me out. You know what I mean? He, he trusts me. So, um... I've got to find the other bump. I have to cut a little bit more around another one of them. Or one of the ones I've already cut around. Um, and then I have to find the other bump. And I cannot find it. I know it's there because I felt it. Um, but I'm afraid I'm going to miss one. That's, that's what my fear is. That I'm going to miss one. And she's going to get cancer. And it's going to be my fault. I even thought about having him shave her back, her whole back, just to see if we can find him. But I don't know if he'll do that or not. I know she wouldn't like it, but I'm helping her. I'm trying to help her. But anyway, enough about that. I've got a few things that I want to talk about. Just please pray for me and Zanny tomorrow because... I don't even know how I'm going to handle it. Um, my eating and uh, losing weight, I, I gained a pound on Friday, which makes me mad. But, you know, I, I've been drinking my water more. I was slacking because I found two things that were like glorious to my mouth. Um, one was pineapple Fanta. Pop, soda pop, soda, whatever you call it. Yummy. And then the other one was Cherry Sprite. Hello. Have you all heard of Cherry Sprite? I did not. But I can tell you it tastes better than Cherry 7-Up. I like Cherry 7-Up too, but Cherry Sprite tastes better. I kid you not. Try a Pineapple Fanta and a Cherry Sprite. And then tell me what you think of them because, man, they're good. So I'm trying really hard to drink more water and not drink pop. Um, did anyone watch Orange is the New Black all the way through? If you did, you got to... Uh, now, people that haven't watched it, don't... Yeah, I'm not going to talk about it right now because I know there's a lot of people that haven't watched it. But if you did, my email is dizzylizzybeth2004 at yahoo.com. Message me and tell me what you think about it. Or email me, whatever. But tell me who you are so I'll know who you are. Uh, yeah, seriously. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good this season. Um, okay. Uh, my neighbor, her name's Evelyn. Uh, she was missing the other day. She has dementia. She was in her car, and apparently they found her pretty far away from here and brought her home, and uh, her daughter, the police officer got here, the daughter got here, and the daughter took her car away from her. I I do not have a vehicle anymore. And I can't imagine my whole life driving a vehicle and somebody taking it away from me. Yeah, that has to be hurting her a lot. Um, let's see. Oh, 
my support group that I go to called the Laugh Group. Um, it's it's getting so much better because more people are starting to talk and open up, and uh, we all have different issues, you know, and we all get a chance to talk or try to help. We all have each other's phone numbers, you know. I mean, and we're doing this thing where. Um, we write down something that we're struggling with and we put it in a hat or a bowl or whatever and then we pick one out and uh, mine was I, I struggle with grief really bad you know losing my parents I, I don't care how much I try to just get over it it doesn't work um, I lived with them until they died because I was raised to not leave the house until you're married. My dad was very old fashioned, very strict, and he was still the best dad in the world. I don't care, you know. Um, but I, when they passed away, I, I've gone through a lot. I can go some of the days without being really, you know, thinking about them all the time. And, um, I mean, I watched my mom bleed to death. And if you've never seen that kind of thing, um, she was bleeding out of her eyes, her nose, and her mouth. She was bleeding internally, and it was coming out. And... I'm sorry, but I can't unsee that. I can't. I cannot unsee that. Sorry. My air conditioner came on. Anyway, so my grief is has to do with those kind of things. You know, if she would have died peacefully, my dad died peacefully. It was almost like he had a smile on his face. It was polar opposites. But my mom, I don't remember her voice. It's just, I can't help it. I wish I could. But they were my everything. And then when I got Zanny, she was my everything. So I'm, I'm just a mess. Um, and let's see. Oh, I'm going to do a video uh, of what's in your purse, which, you know, you guys can comment down on. But I thought that would be something that would be funny. I'll show you what's in my purse. Um, I've been mixing treats for Zanny. For, uh, now, this is a 14 ounce, no, 30 ounce container. It was 14 some dollars. But I have all different kinds of treats in there. So I've got to buy some more of those. But she goes through a lot of these, and they really help her teeth. Because uh, for being 13, she has really good teeth. Um, oh, mm, I did laundry the other day, and I'm just like, man, it never ends. Laundry! Um, but, you know, I, um, I am home so much that... You know, I have a friend named Michelle. She came and got me. And um, we went to the park and we found a bunny, a baby bunny that was dying. And um, she held him for a while. Then I held him because we were on a golf cart because we can have golf carts in our little itty bitty town. Um, then we went to her house. We got him a box and we took him to my friend Jolene's which she knows everything about rabbits she got me this shirt rabbit you know it says love with the rabbits and anyway I gotta go but he did not survive it was so sad I, I we cried it was terrible we tried so hard to save him but anyway I love all of you and know that I think about you every single day I'm not kidding I do and I'm still trying to work up to it. So I love you all. Bye, everyone.